brain. in Paris that was covered with vines. Half past nine. Allons-y, little girls. Hurry. In two straight lines. In rain. Or shine. <laughs> the smallest one. Madeline. <laughs> she was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. One fine morning, without a peep, from the bedroom, the girls did creep. Silence. 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 On Madeline's birthday, they let her sleep. Madeline, a surprise party. At three o'clock. Hooray! A, a birthday, birthday party! <gasps> Everyone would be there, even the mouse. But they had to get Madeline out of the house. But how? I know. We will send her up in a big balloon. No, no. We will play hide and seek and never find her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We will send her on a very, very long taxi ride. No, no. They thought and thought a little more. Hmm. Hmm. Till they heard a knock upon the door. And in walked Pepito and the ambassador. Buenos dias, Miss Clavel. Buenos dias. For Madeline's birthday, my father and I would like to take everyone to the zoo. Hooray! The zoo! <laughs> the little girls cannot go, Pepito. But if you like, you may take Madeline. Now the girls knew what to do while Madeline was at the zoo. That is a Wonderful idea. Oh, nothing, 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 Madeline. Happy birthday, Madeline!
Si, happy birthday! Merci! I hope this is a birthday I will never forget. Will I have a party? Je regrette. I am sorry, Madeline, but that is impossible. But it is for a very good reason. We. Oui. It is because... Uh, because... Uh, Excusez-moi. That could be the reason now. Hello? Oh, oui, monsieur. Très bien. Au revoir. Mes enfants, it is because Lord Cuckoo Face is coming. Everyone must stay home and clean the house. That is all right. I will have another birthday next year. Do not be silly, Madeline. You will have a special day at the zoo. Pepito and his father will take you. Really? Really? Hooray! I love the zoo! And Pepito gave Madeline a box that was tall. Inside it, she found a new parasol. It is my favorite color! Yellow. Oh, Pepito was a thoughtful fellow. <laughs> Have a good time, and you must be home by five to three. And that is when Lord Cuckoo Face is arriving. I will, Miss Clavel. I promise. Au revoir. <laughs> Without much fuss or much ado, the ambassador led them to the zoo. I will wait here. I have mucho trabajo, a lot of work, while you are visiting the zoo. Remember to be back by four, said the Spanish ambassador. Madeline said, That cannot be. We must be home by five to three. You are right. I forgot, CC. So Pepito and Madeline strolled all around, seeing lions and penguins. Then birds, green and brown. Regardez! Bonjour, Madeleine. Bonjour, Monsieur Gerard. Bonjour, Coco. <laughs> Guess what? Today is my birthday. Then we will do something special. Then the organ grinder's monkey had a chance to delight Madeleine with a birthday dance. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. The tiger growled with much ado. But Madeline just said, Poo -poo. <laughs> The monkeys chattered, Hoo -hoo. <laughs> And the littlest one climbed up a tree. <laughs> Monsieur Zookeeper, guess what? Today is my birthday. Ah, très bien, ma petite. Happy birthday. <laughs> then the monkey slipped out, and that is not all. <laughs> oh, no! You bad, bad monkey! The rascal grabbed Madeline's new parasol. <laughs> They chased that bad monkey all over the zoo. Past zebras. And bears. And a tan kangaroo. Maybe we should ask the zookeeper to help us. But he is eating lunch. 
Besides, it is my fault the monkey got out. It was because I said it was my birthday. <laughs> they chased him past elephant. Hippo. And swan. But before they could catch him, the monkey was gone. Trouble swinging through the trees. Don't trust the monkey with parasols or keys. Get on your market set and run! Monkeys are trouble. Yes, they'll make you smile. But they'll eat your bananas. No manners or style. It seemed that the monkey would escape them forever. Madeline knew it was time to be clever. Come, Pepito. We will out with the monkey. But how? Merci, Monsieur Balloon Man. Madeline then bought a bright red balloon, hoping the monkey would want it, and soon. <laughs> Madeline's dismay, there was nothing she could do or say as the monkey grabbed the balloon and ran away. <laughs> set all of the animals free. This is my fault. It is all because of me. And she had to be home by five minutes to three. took great care getting everything ready before Madeline got there. Oh la la! It is already ten to three. Oh! Hurry, my petite! 
Early, everyone. Madeline will be here in five minutes. Madeline and Pepito started to worry. They had to alert Miss Clavel in a hurry. Madeline, we will never make it back in five minutes. Oh, Pepito, you are right. What can we do? Regarde. My father. Zut alors. This monkey will help us. So Madeline wrote to Miss Clavel and said not to worry that all was quite well. Miss Clavel looked up to see that it was already a quarter past three. Where or oh, where could our Madeline be? Ah! That must be Madeline now. Go hide! And when I open the door, everyone jump up and yell, surprise! Oui, Miss Clavel! Then the monkey arrived. Surprise! What? With a note to be read. Huh? Miss Clavel grabbed it quickly and found that it said, I am very busy at the zoo right now. I will try to be home soon. Oh, very busy at the zoo? What could that mean? We will find out. But I am sure it is nothing. Back at the zoo, things weren't improving. And Madeline and Pepito had to get moving. in their cages. An elephant's favorite thing is a peanut. So they found what made each of the animals smile. Fresh leaves are a tasty snack for rhinos. And they got them all back in a very short while. Make this monkey very happy. As they closed the last door and locked the last lock, they heard a bell chime. It was now five o'clock. Oh, 
Oh, Pepito, I am sure Miss Clavel is wondering where we are. I do not think so. <laughs> Surprise! But all Madeline could do was stare. It was a real party with all her friends there. Happy birthday, Madeline! Now make a wish, Madeline. I wish I could have a birthday like this every year. <laughs> She blew out the candles, and everyone cheered. <laughs> now her wish will be granted. Poor Miss Clavel feared. <laughs> this is one birthday I will never forget. Viva Madeline! <laughs> That's all there is. There isn't any more. <laughs> if you believe you must be big in order to be tough, then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff.